this, this gentleman probably has a PhD in knobology because this was not his first time installing one of these locks. What is going on, Door Hardware Nerds? Uh, welcome to another special episode of the Door Hardware Nerds. Uh, <laughs> for those who don't know, we had the wonderful opportunity to sponsor a lock install competition, the Yankee Security Conference. Honestly, this was my first time hosting this a lock install competition. Um, and I had so much fun that I wanted to share some of these special moments with you along the way, you know, do a little highlight recap sports reel. That's why I pulled out this little microphone. It's, uh, it's not even uh, real. Um, but I, you know, I felt like I needed it to get into the character. You're going to want to stick to the end because you're not going to believe what the winning time was. And it happened the very last install, the very last day, right before we were going to dinner. Also, you might see some familiar faces take a stab at this, this contest as well. So keep an eye out for some, uh, some uh, familiar faces uh, trying to take on the challenge themselves. Welcome to this episode. Okay, starting this event off strong with one of our youngest competitors. I mean, for 14 year old, honestly, really not a bad job at all. This young locksmith in training definitely uh, got a solid score. Three minutes and 20 seconds, not bad for such a young chap. I'm, uh, I'm Nick, I'm 14. Uh, 14 years old and already a locksmith. Already a locksmith. Now his dad stepped in, you know, to show him how it's done. You know, you got to show the son and actually took the best time of the day so far at a minute and two seconds. Now, I want you to pay attention to this technique right here because this is the only time we saw it all day. He's finishing off the top screw while starting the bottom screw on the latch. Um, those screws definitely were the hardest part of the challenge. Now, this gentleman, I'm gonna call him Harvard because he actually works for uh, Harvard University. He's one of their lead locksmiths. But when it was time for his turn, you could tell that he was up for the challenge and he did not disappoint. Uh, this, this gentleman probably has a PhD in knobology because this was not his first time installing one of these locks. Just calm, smooth demeanor throughout the whole thing and he comes in with a solid score of 50. Three. Now, uh, this this couple uh, walked up and they didn't really care about the challenge. They thought like, yeah, we'll, we'll try to see if we can uh, beat that time. But in reality, they just wanted to beat each other. And so they went head to head to see who is the better installer. Uh, just just watch as as we go through this one. Two, one, go. They were uh, eager to take on each other. That's, they were, yeah, that's an important part. <laughs> they were fighting each other. The gentleman actually forgot to engage the latch, and so he had to go back and kind of he uninstall it. Really fast. Gave him a, a hiccup very fast. Unfortunately, they didn't make the time for the challenge, but look at that finish. She's almost there, and boom, she beats her boyfriend with time to spare. <laughs> Oh, and look no. at that. <laughs> that is the face of someone that just got defeated by his girlfriend. Uh, and then uh, she walked up, and this was the final nail in the coffin. Do you need some help there? <laughs> This one, I have to tell a little bit of story behind. So Abel Locksmith in New York, it's a fourth generation family owned operated locksmith. This is actually the son of the current owner taking on this challenge. It, he had brought his son, which was six years old. So as we had three generations of the, the locksmiths there, there's the grandpa, the father, which is this gentleman right here, and then the grandkid. Um, so uh, watch, they were very competitive with each other. Blood, sweat, and tears were coming through these two. And you know he had to uh, step up and set, uh, set the bar high for his son to take on this challenge as well. Look how fast, look at that technique. And he actually takes the top score for the day at 42 seconds. What a remarkable time, 42 seconds, 35 milliseconds. So then his dad had to step in and, you know, show him how it's done. Grandpa here is show him how it's done. Uh, this gentleman, 45 years of locksmith experience and it shows and he yeah, uh, no it's the new record way. for 31 seconds, destroying his son's second. And then this grandkid comes in and just demolishes, demolishes. both of them. I'm just kidding. 
No, but look at that technique. That that uh, that kid is a locksmith prodigy, very quick. Uh, actually, he, he held up to some of our adult competitors, and that was our youngest uh, competitor, even though we didn't give him the time. Now, the, the son jumped back in and to see if he could take over his dad's time, but he wasn't quite there. So the only way to settle the battle was for them to do a head-to-head -head challenge. Now, this is father-son showdown right here. Father son showdown. Who's going to win? Is it going to be experience or youth? I don't know. <laughs> okay, they're almost there to the finish. Boom. If you look closely, it was just over a second difference between them finishing from each other, but the son comes out. <laughs> look at that. So proud fast. So fast. Look on his face. But, you know, he, he actually had tears in his eyes when his grandson was uh, going through this competition. What a, uh, what a fun family competition for them to go through. Great to see a fourth generational locksmith company go through, family owned and operated and took the top score for the day uh, so far, so far. <laughs> now this gentleman, I have to tell you a little bit more about Jonathan. Tried earlier on in the day and got a respectable time. I think he was like just under a minute, but he knew in his mind that he could definitely beat that top time of 31 seconds. And so the last hour of the event was a little bit slower. There wasn't much of a line for the install contest. And, uh, you know, he got to practice it a couple times. And I think uh, with practice comes uh, perfection. And he was able to uh, pull this time out. Three, two, one, go. Maybe maybe it was the hat that uh, streamlined his efficiency. I don't know. It was a good looking hat uh, that uh, <laughs> the gentleman had. There you go. There you go. Got this. Take it, a hit. Smooth is fast, and fast is smooth is what his mentor was telling him. And yes, I agree. Come on. And boom, there he goes. 29 seconds, the top time for the day. Congratulations to Jonathan uh, Bush from Precision Lock and Save. Oh, oh wait, there's there's some more. Uh, there's uh, oh, who's this guy? Who's this handsome fellow? Uh, uh, I'm just kidding. I watched so many people do it. You know, by the time I got to it, I thought I had it all done. Oh and no, then, it's not. It's not engaged. Oh, 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 the latch was engaged from the beginning. Oh, Look at that no, time. If not, that latch was engaged, engaged oh, I would have been content. in the top ten. Oh. Sure. <laughs> there was the. Uh, APL cylindrical indicator lock challenge. I hope you enjoyed that recap. Thank you so much for uh, joining us on this episode. We'll see you next time. Stay, stay nerdy out there. <laughs>